So you sell boats and you are in a really competitive industry. Uh, there's some pretty big players in that, isn't there? Uh, and you want to stand out from the crowd. Uh, my view is that direct response marketing, which is what this incentive-based marketing is all about, is absolutely built for you. Um, not many people buy a boat every month. <laughs> okay, so what you're trying to do is to grab the attention of people who are perhaps sitting on the fence, uh, sort of in the market, but getting them off the fence to make a decision pretty quickly. And direct response marketing is at its most powerful when you have a very, very valuable incentive, which this free holiday concept is. Uh, secondly, uh, when you put a time limitation against something that this is only available until the 30th of the month, okay? Uh, and thirdly, you know how to market this, particularly through social media these days. Uh, this thing has got everything going for it. Um, you know that if someone uh, either owns a boat and wants to buy a new one from you, or they don't own a boat but they want to buy one from you, they're more than likely people who enjoy outdoor living and just enjoy, you know, recreation. Well, guess what? Um, they're the ideal audience to offer a free holiday to. Um, now my view is, <clears throat> if you are selling anything, but let's say a boat for the moment, uh, that might be one or two or three or four thousand dollars, yeah, give away the free holiday with that sale, okay? Because for ninety-seven dollars that you're getting the holiday from us, uh, to give someone something that's worth maybe between a thousand and two thousand dollars, depending upon where they go and when they go, um, is extraordinary. So you're saying, look, buy a little tinny uh, or buy whatever it is, a one or two or three or four thousand dollar boat from us, and we're going to give you a free holiday. That's what you do for the smaller priced boats. If you're talking about the bigger priced boats, and I'm talking about perhaps something that might be a five or ten or fifteen or twenty or fifty thousand dollar boat or more, then no, don't give it away with the boat. Give it away with um, a 30 minute consultation. Okay, so if I said to you, look, if I could deliver through Facebook uh, or through any advertising a warm lead, um, what would you pay for that? I reckon you'd probably say at least $100 because you'd probably be confident that if you had 10 warm leads uh, for a boat that might be twenty or thirty or $40,000, that you'd probably be able to turn maybe two or three of those leads into a sale. Now, I don't know because I don't know you, all right? But the fact is um, that I know that in the car dealership game, when they're selling $50,000 cars, uh, they are using this free holiday promotion uh, as a leads generator, which I'm suggesting for you with your bigger tickets. And they're saying, look, uh, come in and have a test drive of our $50,000 Toyota, whatever it may be. And just for having that test drive, we'll give you a free holiday. Now that means that they're going to give us 10 times $97 for 10 test drives. Let's just say it was 10. So 10 times a test drive at $97 is $970. Out of a $50,000 car, they make between five and $8,000, depending upon what they give away. So therefore, if they just get two car sales out of the 10 test drives, that's two times five to $8,000. Let's go in the middle, let's say six. Okay, so that's two times six, that's $12,000 they've got back. Profit for a $970 investment by giving away 10 test drives. See what I mean? So I'm suggesting the same thing for your industry. Uh, okay, I've been doing this stuff for quite some time, so I've got a pretty good handle on the value of getting a warm lead. And so in this instance, you would simply say, okay, you know, come and book a 30 or 35 minute or 45 minute or 60 minute, whatever it is, consultation with you about the XYZ boat that might be, you know, 30 or 40 or $50,000. And just on having that consultation, we'll give you a free holiday. No questions asked, okay? You don't have to buy the boat, but we're backing ourselves that we're gonna be able to showcase to you an incredible offer that hopefully you might consider buying the boat. But we're willing to step up to the mark and give you a free holiday because we're backing ourselves. Simple as that. Now, you just have to ask yourself, out of 10 reasonably warm layers, you might get the odd tire kicker, but look, that's collateral damage. Um, what I would suggest you do is that if you are doing something like on social media advertising, it might be a Facebook campaign for argument's sake, it might be a LinkedIn one, uh, it may well be that you would put them, uh, when they click your ad, where it shows a boat, but then it shows a beautiful beat behind the boat, uh, and it says, listen, just book a consultation with us and you get a free holiday to any one of these luxurious places. Um, when they click that and go through to a landing page uh, and you're collecting their data to book the meeting with you, uh, then I would suggest you put them through a reasonable pre-qualification process. So therefore you are getting rid of most of the time vampires, okay? So therefore you would ask them, you know, what 
I don't know, what career path they have, what their annual income is, have they already got a boat that they might be thinking about trading in, blah, blah, blah. You know the questions better than I do. So you do your best on the landing page after you've done your social media ad to actually get rid of the time wasters. There will be one or two that slip through. That's collateral damage. I hold events, okay, and I try and hold events for established business owners, okay? I don't want one-man bands or uni students coming to my events because I'm selling a private coaching program that might be five grand a month. So I don't want the uni students taking up all the seats in the room when I'm handing out tapas, uh, dinners. Uh, and what I do is that when they actually see my ads to come to my events, I put them through a pre-qualification -qualifi pre process on my registration page to make sure I try and get rid of anyone who wouldn't fall into a, you know, a warm lead category for my coaching program. Guess what? There's always going to be one or two uni students that slip through and that's collateral damage. Nothing in life is perfect. But if you think that you could close two or three out of every 10 uh, leads um, because you're pretty good at what you do, this is just a lead generator from heaven. You're going to love this. Simple as that. So therefore, you either give it away as a freebie, bonus, a Happy Meal toy, straight away with a smaller boat that might be a thousand, two thousand, three thousand, up to five thousand dollars. That's fine. Give it away with that. But if you are selling bigger boats, and I know you might have bigger boats way past fifty thousand dollars, but if it's up towards the thirty, the forty, the fifty thousand dollar mark plus more, just give them the free holiday for coming and visiting you, because you should be backing yourself in terms of being able to turn those leads or some of those leads into a sale. If this is of interest to you, and it should be because it's going to differentiate you from all of your competitors, then you know what to do.